Hello, thank you for tuning in to this week's read. This is on YouTube channel James 13 Wicca. I'm going to put the um, dice and the card information below that I'm going to be using for this set. That way you can easily find it. Um, also, if you're anywhere near Herkimer, New York, I am doing, I'm offering some live readings if you're interested. Um, that should be below too. I should have added that by now. Um, there's info below on how to get a reading from me on here. And I'll get the email up here too. So if you'd like an email from me, shoot me an email, james for at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. That being said, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Hello, Aquarius. Thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Aquarius? Is it the vigor, the vigor of life? The vigor. The vigor. This has to be different. This has to be different. Okay. Something from the past that was really good, I don't think it's the same thing. Like, I don't think it's this... For example, if it was a relationship thing or a job... I don't think it's the same person or the same job coming back, but very similar characteristics, very similar circumstances seem to be coming into play here. And it's kind of like, this time around, this is different. This isn't completely the same. But this is somewhere where it's kind of like, I feel like it could go better this time. Because whatever it was in the past, I think it ended. This one could go better. This one could be more enjoyable. Especially with Aquarius. It seems like, you know, it feels to me that maybe I'm wrong, but Aquarius does that self-audit thing um, and just kind of looks at it realistically, partially in like, well, I the reason I know not to do that is because I did that. Also kind of like, well, even though I did that once, I don't really need to do that again because I've already done that once. But it's seeing it in the sense of like, not completely walking away from a possibility, kind of like, well, I already had donuts, so I'm not going to have more donuts. <laughs> Seeing it more like, well, I had I had uh, glazed donuts before, but these are strawberry donuts. Maybe I'll try a strawberry donut, but if I'm gonna, I'm going to do it differently this time. I don't know, I'm using donuts today. I don't know why. So in the past, yeah, something ended poorly. Um... It did, and it's kind of like it needed to end. It got only so far, and it had to stop. And it may be one of those things that it started very quickly, but it lasted for a while is what I'm getting. Did it? Or was it supposed to? It started very quickly. It either lasted a while or had the potential to last. One of the two either did last a while or had the potential to. And it's looking back and going, when I look back at it, what do I, how do I want it? How would I have wanted it to go? It's, so it's almost like, it's not that you didn't want it at all, but maybe the way it played out, maybe there was a shelf life to it. Maybe there wasn't, maybe I thought there was and I could have held on to it and I decided not to. Um, could be one of those things. I can see that both ways where you could look back and be like, oh, I kind of held on to that a little too long. It was good, but I should have let go of it a lot sooner than I did. Versus, like, I could see myself, especially with jobs, kind of like, eh, I moved on from that probably a little quicker than I should. I should have hung on to it for a couple more years. Life would have gone a little differently. Life would have been a lot easier. <laughs> Could be one of those things. So it can go either way, depending how you're feeling about it. Um, the important part is that you have looked back at this type of thing. And I feel like I keep looking back, like, knowing what I know now, I had to make a different decision. As life normally does, things come in cycles, things repeat. Um, even if we've already learned the lesson, it still repeats. Because if you've learned the lesson, you just do move on from it a lot quicker. If you haven't, it'll teach you something new. Um, whatever this is, it's repeating for a reason, is what I'm getting. Um, but it might be one of those things where, yeah, I already learned that lesson, so this is how I'm going to handle it this time around. 
something really good is coming in because it's like it was really good in the past. You got the lovers card, and it's a very positive card. A lot of possibilities. Doesn't have to be romance. It could have been a really good job. Could have been a business venture. Could have been a trip. Could have been anything. But it's something where I really it was really good for its time. But either it, either I I cut it short or I let it hang out too long. It's one or the other. It's one or the other. I keep getting that. So as this is coming in. I'm getting those familiar feelings as it's coming forward. This reading, one of the bigger pieces of this reading might be to highlight that to you. Kind of like, it's not just it's familiar. You've done something extremely similar to this before and you've wanted a different outcome. Different circumstances, probably different people, but very similar flavor. All right, whatever you wanted to happen before that you would have done differently, this is your time to do it differently. It's just trying to bring that to the forefront. You wanted to do that differently. Here's your chance. Do it differently. Am I missing anything with this? It's right to the point. Whatever this is, you can keep it for a long time if you want to. The question is, is that what you want? And to see it before it gets that far. If, this reminds me a lot with relationships especially romantic ones. Some of them are for a season. Some of them are a lot longer. <laughs> when we're looking at this reading, reading, if it's about a relationship, it didn't last, whatever it was. Sometimes we hold on to things longer than we should. Sometimes we move on from things not thinking it actually has, ex has staying power. Then we're like, oh, well, oh, well. Made a different choice. Would have made a different choice if I realized the potential that was actually there. Uh, I feel like we have, a lot of us have that. We can look back and see both. Um, There is a mystery to this, I give you that, because it's a familiar feeling, and I keep getting it to familiar feeling, but you're Aquarius. Do what you gotta do to figure out the truth, you know what I mean? You have ways of getting conversations starting, started. It's just realizing that this is worth getting those conversations started, and this is worth the research. Once you realize it's worth the research, I feel like you'll figure out what this moon's about. I'm not really worried about it, but, Part of the trigger here is also, which might be another big thing for this reading, is to realize this is worth finding out the truth. This is worth getting in there and digging it up. Because um, can you do it? Yeah, I don't have any question about that. You might be questioning if it's worth the effort, kind of like my time is precious, my energy is precious, I'm not just going to go chasing after every little thing. But this reading, if this is hitting, saying, search it out, find out, find out. Because... This card is showing up to your benefit along with this card. These two cards together, for you, for Aquarius, if you're dealing with this type of energy, which could be a person, doesn't have to be, it's very active, it's very communicative, and it's probably not paying attention to what it's telling you, which works to your advantage. Because if they're not paying attention to what they're saying and what they're telling you, you can get the energy that you want from it. You can get the information you want from it. You can get the cat off things. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Logan wants to be a part of your reading, apparently, and he's messing with stuff behind me. So, Sorry about that. Um, Stuart, please, can we not do that? Let's go. Let's go. All right, there we go. He wants... I have, I have to give him his treats. I don't know. In case you're wondering why he's here. Yeah, he's, he's shaking me down for his treats. Um... And he'll get them after this. Which is interesting because, like, that's kind of like, this is very, what I'm doing with the cat distracting me and going on, very much this. Very much this energy. Just a lot going on, not paying attention to what you're doing, but still communicating, that whole thing. So, thanks, bud. Thanks for your two cents. That's great. Um, <laughs> there's more to come into this. But by doing that, you can discover what's real and what's not, what you want and what you don't. And not only, this doesn't have to be a pass-fail thing. This could be like going into the grocery store. There's things I want there. There's things I don't want there. Get what you want, leave the rest. This can definitely be one of those situations. Whether it be a relationship type thing or work thing or whatever, you can do this a la carte thing on this thing is what I'm getting, which is preferable, I would say. The moment will come forward but they're also saying, bide your time. Keep your negotiability, keep your bargaining chip to your advantage a little bit longer. 
there will be some pressure to like make a decision, make a decision, make a decision, because this Ace of Wands comes in really strongly. There's going to be pressure to do so for one reason or another. It could come from different angles. Ten of Wands, stressful, and the Wheel of Fortune needs to come to rest is what I'm getting. They're advising, well, advising, the suggestion here is to not lock in too soon, to give it a minute, and to let this situation show you more of what you already believe is there. Make sure what you think is there shows the proof that it is there, because you're going to kind of see it like, okay, this is most likely that, that's most likely this, this is most likely that. Let it start showing you the proof that, okay, that is correct. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Why is that going over there? From what I learned from this, I wouldn't expect it to go over there. And then you can kind of get, oh, that's why that went over there. Well, that changes how I feel about it. Keep your bargaining chip a little bit longer. You don't want to keep it forever. You don't want to keep it indefinitely. But it's kind of like when there's pressure to like make that decision and you're like, well, I think this or I think that, hold on to that chip until you know. That's all. Once you decide, but once that's going to make a difference, it is because whatever it is, I do get with this card. Once you've chosen what you've chosen, it's yours. So if, if you've chosen it's X amount of time, that's what it is. If it's a short thing, that's what it is. If it's a long thing, that's what it is. Um, you do seem to have control over that. It's all about where you want it to be, where you want it to because I get like again, this is replaying from the past. Not the same people or exact circumstances, but very similar flavor. Like, you know, it reminds me of like being a part of a high school club and doing things with people and getting involved with people kind of like, well, they weren't the best and I really shouldn't have done this and that. And I really didn't learn what I wanted from that club. Something coming around again, like, okay, this is another social connection and I want to learn some stuff here. Are these people working to my benefit? Do I want all these people in my circle or do I want only some of them? Do I want to center more on learning what they have to offer here? Or do some people know more than others do? Like, it's kind of like, instead of just going for the fun part of it, kind of like, what else can I get out of this? How can I add into this differently? And still enjoy it or get what I want. It's almost like, if I look back to high school, it's like, eh, maybe I was a little bit too centered on having fun. Going here in the future, there's a lot of fun here, but maybe I need to kind of regulate and, you know, keep myself under control where I don't go for all that fun and miss out on all the meat and potatoes of the situation that I actually want. I got to, like, be aware of, like, the cake and ice cream. Don't have as much of that and have the meat and potatoes that I should be having to sustain and remind me why I got to be a part of this to begin with, why I was attracted to this to begin with. If you're able to do that, You'll have you'll get what you want out of this, and you'll have a lot of energy to move forward with it. The what does that say? Valiant courage, take action. If if you line up with this situation the way you want, you'll have the energy to get through. I keep getting something about energy with this, and it says passion here. But I feel like if I if I'm able to get into this the way I want to, it makes a whole whole big difference with the energy that comes in with it. If I get into this and I'm like, oh, that's not exactly what I wanted to, I'm not as charged up to do it. But if I get it the way I want it, I feel like the excitement kind of builds and draws me near and keeps me going. Um, the energy that's connected, the other companion energy is very interesting. I don't think it's going to be a perfect match, but it's a worthwhile match, if that makes sense. Let me just do the dice on that before I show that. It won't be a perfect match, but it'll be a worthwhile match. Um, the Aquarius card comes in. That's the star card on the dice. And then the Knight of Cups comes in. I'm getting a very strong loyalty energy here. But this energy will be something where, again, I feel like, especially if this is talking about a person, whether it be a social group or a relationship or whatever it is, there's parts where you're going to match very well and parts that are completely not your thing. And it's kind of like when we get older, most of us when we get older, we can look back and we're like, it's kind of like realizing some pe people have parts of their personality that are not negotiable. They may not be what you like, but they're not negotiable. And you learn as you get older different ways to handle that, to let them be who they need to be, and not let those things bother you as much or give yourself distance when those certain characteristics are at play. That's going to come into play here. 
when you look back and you're like, well, there was these things and that thing about this certain person that I liked and didn't like, and I couldn't get over these certain things, and I kind of brought that to a burning end <laughs> because I couldn't let certain things go or I couldn't find a good way at the time to handle those things. I couldn't give the distance that I needed to. Uh, I've seen this. It's, I feel like you see it more likely with romantic couples. It doesn't have to be that in the situation, of course. But like when, you know, especially when we're young and we're like, we have to be so connected to somebody and they have characteristics that just don't work for us. It's not that that has to sink the ship, but we have to give the relationship some distance so that like when we come together, we have those positive energies. And when there's other energies that we just don't match with, it doesn't have to be negative energies, just we don't match with. They can go and do that with somebody else. They can go have that time with somebody else. You know, go play sports with those people. You want to do sports, go do sports. I'm going to go over here and do puzzle. We come together and we do other things together, but we don't have to do everything together. I feel like as people get older, a lot of us realize that, like, especially with those type of relationships, we don't have to do everything together. And if we give ourselves some distance and we have the come together, do things apart, do things together, do things, we have a balance of like that, it goes a lot easier. Are we good? All right. I'm going to shut this down here. I'm going to give the cat his treats. He's been shaking me down for. Um, if you want a reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.